offsides. His head was in the neutral zone. Referee didn't even call. Look where he is compared to every other player on that field. Now watch this. Referees are there. There. Watch him. He's going to jump off sides. See? Right there. Look how, I mean, he's the only one on the field that moves before the ball snaps. But the referees, again, did not call a penalty, which would have allowed the Panthers to, to get a closer field goal and try it again. Okay, coming up is what the Panthers could have been doing the entire game long. This is another one that it's the exception that proves the rule. And... I want you to, to tell me, I want you to think about where this great uh, Denver pass rush is on this play. Because this is the kind of effortless play we saw from the Panthers all season long. So there, there's a play. It looks like the Panthers are coming alive. They're really going to come down here and try to win this ball game. Let's see what happens. What was that stupid play? Now, see, I, I maintain that what, what the Panthers did during this game is they sprinkled in a few big plays here and there so they could say, well, yeah, we took shots deep. There's one. Um, but, but watch this. They just got this big play down the field, a chance to change the momentum of this game. They're only down by nine. You saw the, the play they ran just before. And now watch the play they're going to run now. It's second down and six. Watch this play. Now, now they got the first down. They got the first down because Denver didn't make a tackle. But that's a stupid play call. In this situation in the game, they're, they're less than halfway done. With the third quarter. They're, and it's like they're not really, they're still not throwing to the end zone. Yeah, I'm going to have to check back. I'm not sure they threw two passes in a row in this entire game. Now, does that look like a man who's uh, excited that his team is in the Super Bowl and is in a position to... to Get into it and and try to win it. Back in the 
I mean, to me, he looks like a, a grim-faced businessman who doesn't really like what he's got to do, which is lose his game. But he knows that's that you know it, it's business, so he accepts it. Now look, they got one big play which got them down here. They're now within field goal range. Let's see. That's about the 28 plus 10, 38 plus 7. So they're in field goal range right now. A 45-yard field goal. Of course, the way their field goal kicker kicks, they'll probably miss this one too. But, but I mean, do they look like they're trying to score a touchdown to you? Just think of it like that. Because it doesn't look like they're trying to score a touchdown to me. First of all, you know, I mean, how, how many times do you see an NFL team have two running backs back here? They just don't do it that way anymore. Let's see what happens on this play. Look, he's got good protection. He's got time to throw. Let's see what happens. Well, not mo anymore because <laughs> he he waits too long. He just throws it away. Look, he, he was open. I think on the replay, we'll see he's open. But you can see his hands wondering why he didn't get the ball. See, I think that's Greg Olson. He's open right here. He's as open as he's been, you know, as anybody's been when Cam's decided to throw, but Cam just holds on to the ball. He didn't have to throw it away, you know. See, some of these plays would be believable if if you didn't know what a great athlete Cam Newton is. You know, so some of these things that happened to him, yeah, you you would you would uh, accept that the quarterback didn't have time, couldn't get away, nobody was open. But Cam Newton can do stuff with his feet. When nothing else is going right on the play, he can make something happen all by himself. He did that all season long. But in this game, he, it's like he's playing in tar or something. His feet can't move. <clears throat> there you go. So that's how Cam avoids scoring any points on this drive. He throws to a covered receiver. For some reason. And lets the ball be picked off. Does he look upset to you? That looks like a smile to me. Now let's look at this play. He's got he's got protection. He's still got protection. He's gonna throw it to this guy here. Why? Is he covered? Yes. Why don't Cam run? Why don't Cam run here? See? The lane's open. Yes, he might get tackled by him, but he's fast. He should be able to outrun him over to this way. 
but there's certainly no reasonable argument that can be made that he threw it to the correct receiver. I mean, look where he throws it. And, you know, and he was kind of open. But the way it was thrown was behind him. So he, he throws it straight to him. No points, Carolina. And now the ball's on the ground. Let's see what happens. Isn't that Ted Ginn right there? The guy who ran out of bounds earlier in this game? Why don't he recover that fumble? I mean... <laughs> now, here we are in the third quarter. There's still 3 minutes and 12 seconds left in the third quarter. You can hear... You can see this graphic right here. See? The Panthers have gained 121 yards in the third quarter. And and, and just and there's still time left in the third quarter. It ends up being uh, it says 121 here, but it ends up being 125 yards. So that's the equivalent of a 500 yards offense in a, in an average game. And yet they hadn't scored a single point. See? So you, you got to look at the big picture and then look at all the little pictures. All the penalties. The weird play calling. The drop passes that, that look like the guy had it. And, and you got to say to yourself, th this is a team that's 17-1 and one at this point. They nearly had an undefeated season. And yet here they are in the Super Bowl. And all they do is make mistakes nonstop. But they're gaining yards because they can't it's almost like they can't help themselves. I mean, imagine a world class sprinter racing some junior high school kid and losing to him. You know, you can just look at it and tell that the world-class sprinter didn't run as fast as he could. And that's what you can see in this game. You can see that the Panthers are not playing all out. You can see that the Denver players are. It's just like, I mean, I'm going to have to get some 40-yard dash times, but that punt return that Carolina gave up earlier in the game, that, I mean, think about it. A guy who's number 97 outran all the other people on the Panthers team and made the tackle. They're telling me there's nobody on that team that was on the field at that time that was faster than him?